Hey everybody, it's Linnea here for Sassy and Crafty, and today there is an Instagram hop between Sassy and Crafty and T-Rex Alcohol Inks. I'm so excited to be part of this hop, and I will leave the link to my Instagram account below in the video description so that you can head over to Instagram and hop through and see all the inspiration. So today I'm using the T-Rex Alcohol Inks, and I'm using the 12-piece starter set. It comes in this cute little box, and there are... 12 colors, well 11, and then the colorless blender, but these are all the colors that you could possibly need. I absolutely love this whole assortment, this lovely little rainbow. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be working on some Yupo paper today. I've cut mine to be five and a half by eight and a half for this first one because I wanted to create a long slimline rainbow. So I've started by adding some of that clear blender solution from the T-Rex 12 piece starter set. And now I'm just going to add in some colors. So I started with the pink, the yellow, and the blue. And I'm just using an air puffer, but you could use a straw, or if you have one of those fancy little airbrush tools, you could use that to blow your alcohol inks around. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix together this rainbow. When I create a rainbow using pretty much any medium, I start with the primary colors. So I had my pink, my yellow, and my blue color, and that's what I'm gonna start with. And I'm gonna let those colors mix and start to blend together. And you can see that I got the start of some orange and some green, but I wanted a bit more. So I added in some of that orange alcohol ink, and where the blue met the yellow, I just added in some more yellow. And then I added in a couple more drops of blue and I'm just gonna keep on kind of mixing, adding more color and more of that blending solution until I get the rainbow that I'm looking for. I did add some purple on each of those ends. And now I thought that I would trim this down into a slimline card panel, but I decided to grab a die instead. So the die that I grabbed is from Trinity Stamps and it's the slimline scallop die set and I cut this panel down so it has that pretty scalloped edge. I'm gonna do two more pieces for you, pretty much in a similar fashion. So I cut my Yupo paper down to four and a quarter by five and a half to make some A2 cards. And here I'm starting with the purple color. And again, just adding a couple drops of that color, a couple drops of the blending solution, and just going back and forth, adding more of that clear blender, and then I'm gonna even come in and add some pink at the other end here and mix these colors together, just puffing this color around. Again, use a straw if that's what you have or if you have a fancy airbrush tool. I don't have one of those. I just have this nice little puffer tool. So that's what I like to use to move my alcohol inks around. And I'm just gonna keep going back and forth between color and blender until I get the background I'm looking for. Now I thought that I would do one more. I really liked this black color and I always find black backgrounds interesting. So I started by adding a little bit of that clear solution and then a couple drops of the black. And for this one, I'm kind of, instead of puffing the color around, I'm puffing it back towards the center. And when I do this, I find that the color kind of starts to separate a little bit. And so I have this kind of earthy, brown color that starts to come out near the edges. And I love how alcohol inks break down into their colored pigments. I saw it happening a little bit with the purple too, where you kind of get these little pops of magenta. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love how this color separates. So here are my finished backgrounds. I'll set those aside and now I'm going to start working on my images for my cards. I'm using the Sassy and Crafty Flutter by Butterfly stamp set, probably one of my favorite stamp sets from Sassy and Crafty. And I'm gonna grab just a couple butterflies and stamp them out in black ink. Now thinking about my alcohol ink backgrounds, I had two really colorful backgrounds and one with a black background. So I only am going to color one of these butterflies and I'm going to color it in a rainbow. And I am so sorry that this is so blurry. My camera must have been trying to focus on, I'm not even sure what, because at first it was focusing on the marker. Now I feel like it's not focusing on anything at all. But all I did for this one butterfly was color in rainbow order. So I started with some pinks, then I came in with some oranges and then yellows, moving on to my minty colors, a green, a blue, a turquoise, and then I finished off with purple up at the top. I also stamped out three sentiments from that Flutter by Butterfly stamp set, and now I'm going to go ahead and start arranging these onto my card fronts. 
So you can see here, my rainbow butterfly is going to go onto that black alcohol ink background. And then I kept the other butterflies completely white. I didn't even add any shading at all. This is something I used to do in the past and I feel like this trend is kind of coming back around again to leave completely white images. And especially with that slimline rainbow background, I didn't wanna take away from those alcohol inks in the background. So I decided to go with just a white butterfly. I'm going to pop each one of my butterflies up with foam tape and then I will have my sentiment strips peeking out from those butterflies on all three of the cards. So I'll just repeat this process. Here's a look at all three of my cards. I'd love to know which one is your favorite. So leave me a comment below and you can see as I hold it up to the camera what I was talking about with that color separating and kind of getting that earthy green brown color behind the black, love it. Thanks so much to Sassy and Crafty and to T-Rex Alcohol Inks for putting this hop together and for having me be involved. Remember that this is part of an Instagram hop, so I will leave my Instagram link below in the video description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've linked and listed the supplies I used in my video description below, and I will see you later. Bye! Thank you again very much for watching this video. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more from me, please hit that subscribe button that is on the screen now. And here are a few other videos that I thought you might enjoy.